Hi, Suzanne from Flat Wearable Artisan Jewelry. I'm going to show you a couple of new products today that are going to eliminate some of the frustration that you may be having when it comes to drilling pieces that are already bent, such as an example um, would be a bracelet. A customer has picked out a bracelet. She wants a couple of crystal snap rivets set into it. How do you successfully do the drilling on that? Same thing for a ring. Customer picks out a ring, wants the birthstone in it. You need some way to support that ring so you can do the drilling. Um, this is also good for stamping uh, names and pieces that are already curved. So I'm going to show you these two new products that we have that are going to help you with that. The first one we're going to show you is the uh, wood ring mandrel. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the ring. I'm just using um, a ring that I made some mistakes in stamping on so I can um, show you what you need to do. Put the ring on as far as you can get it on there so it's nice and snug and it's not going to move around. Um, the V-block is a perfect um, item to help hold everything while you're doing the drilling. It's going to help support everything. So when you put it in here, you're going to see that it tips down. You need to bring that up so it's level. Otherwise, you're going to drill your hole at an angle. I find that this rubber drawer liner works really well. Just to cut yourself a small piece, and that will allow you um, to raise that up a little bit there. And we're going to go ahead and set, um, we're going to um, center punch where we're going to drill. I'm just going to drill a hole at random here. Okay, we're going to bring this over to the drill press. Uh, 1 8 inch drill bit for um, crystal snap rivets. I think I want to bring that up just a little bit more. So let me, let me fold that just a little bit additionally. You want to kind of get that as level as you can. And what this is going to do is allow you to really hold everything in place. Let me just smug that right up underneath there. Okay. Be careful when you're doing the drilling here. Let me just lay this a little bit differently. Careful when you're doing the drilling here that you don't let this get away from you or you're going to hurt yourself. So. We're going to go ahead and drill that hole. Perfectly fine if you drill right into the wood. That's kind of the purpose is you need to be able to clear that hole entirely and drilling into the wood is going to allow that hole to clear. You're probably going to have a little bit of a burr underneath. It's not necessarily a problem when you're setting a crystal snap of it because the cap on the back is going to cover any burr. You don't necessarily have to remove the burr. So there you've got a nice clean drilled hole in that ring for you to set that uh, crystal snap of it. The next item is, um, is this wood dowel. This is going to allow you to drill holes in your bracelet sections. So with the hinge bracelet, you don't necessarily have to um, put it on to start with. But for something like this, where you don't have um, any way to really open and close that, go ahead and slip it on first. Using a drill press vise, you're going to place it between the jaws bringing it up slightly so it's not completely flat. You don't want it all the way down there because you need it up high enough to give support to that bracelet. So I've already drilled a hole. I'm going to turn this way. I've already drilled a hole here. I want to drill a second hole over here. So these holes are going to be a little bit offset. Make sure you've got that in tight into your drill press vise. Now this is going to give you that nice firm surface so you can hold this bracelet firmly while you do the drilling. So that's, that's really just as simple as it is. 
And these two pieces of wood are going to allow you to support the um, curved pieces, rounded pieces, pieces that are already bent, so you can successfully drill holes to place your crystal snap rivets. You can also use this to do um, stamping as well. If you needed to stamp something and you need some support for it, this would be a good way to hold pieces for stamping. My suggestion would be if I were going to stamp this is I'd place some tape along either side to hold that in place while I did the stamping. And keep in mind that because this is curved, you need an area as flat as possible. So you want to stamp directly on top of the, of the section that you're trying to stamp on. So say I was going to stamp the word hope. I'd put my H here. Now when I go to do the O, I'm not going to stamp it this direction. I'm going to take it and move it. And then tape it again and stamp it right directly on top of the bracelet. Don't go in at an angle or you're not going to be able to get a full impression. Okay, if there's any questions or comments, um, just leave them on our Facebook page and we'll be talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.